today, we are experiencing health risks, sea level rise, and extreme weather conditions due to global warming, which is caused by the excessive amount of greenhouse gases that traps the heat absorbed by the Earth from the sun. Forty percent of the total energy consumption is attributed to the building and construction sector. Five to eight percent of total carbon dioxide emissions is from the cement industry. There are three types of concrete. Normal strength concrete with a compressive strength of 20 to 50 MPa. It is the most common used in the market and readily accessible for clients' personal usage. It is mostly used in the home environment to undertake construction projects. High-strength concrete with a compressive strength of 50 to 100 MPa is suitable for constructing high-rise structures that involve highly compressive loads. Practical applications of the concrete include building foundations, shear wall, and bridges in some instances. Ultra-high performance concrete with a compressive strength of 100 to 150 MPa. The cementitious material is integrated to achieve an ideal concrete mix for high strength and low permeability structures. High performance concrete is ideal for the construction of high risk building, bridges, tunnels, pavement, and nuclear structures. It exhibits an exceptional durability, tensile ductility, and toughness requirements which can lead to economical construction in line with associated material savings and lower installation of labor costs. Our paper, entitled A Comparative Study of International Variants of Ultra-High Performance Concrete Through Life Cycle Assessment Using Simapro Software, conducted LCA for a mixture of UHPC and to identify cradle-to-gate GHG emissions, as well as the comparison of UHPC products. Let's talk about the UHPC composition. The key factor in producing UHPC is to improve the micro and macro properties of its mixture ingredients. There are six main compositions of UHPC. The binders, water binder ratio, superplasticizers, aggregates, steel fibers, and nanomaterials. Binders. A relatively high proportion of cement is used in UHPC mixtures that can be replaced with crushed quartz, blast furnace slag, or fly ash. The addition of silica fume, a very reactive porcelain as a binder, can improve the workability of UHPC by filling voids between coarser particles owing to its much finer particle size and optical spherical shape. Water binder ratio. A very low water binder ratio is used in UHPC mixtures. This ratio is to achieve maximum relative density and spread flow. Super plasticizers, also known as the high range water reducers. The reduced workability of UHPC due to its very low low wind water binder ratio can be resolved by adding effective super plasticizers. The required super plasticizer dosage significantly depends on the compatibility between the mixture ingredients and its type. This effect drastically improves the performance of the hardening fresh paste of concrete. Aggregates A broad category of coarse to medium grain particulate material used in construction, including sand, gravel, crushed stone, slag, and recycled concrete. Aggregate serves as a reinforcement to add strength to the overall composite material. The fine aggregate like quartz sand plays an important role in reducing the maximum paste thickness which is also a key factor in the mixture design of UHPC. Steel fibers Due to its very high strength and homogeneity, 
UHPC is very brittle, yet it can be made ductile by adding steel fibers, nanomaterials. The success of mixture design of UHPC is highly dependent on achieving highest particle packing density and ultra-high consolidation of the concrete. Nanomaterials can fill the gaps between micro-sized cementitious materials and fine aggregates leading to reduced porosity and higher particle packing density. For the methodology, we use SimaPro software to evaluate the life cycle of three mixture designs of UHPC. SimaPro software is an effective tool when it comes to life cycle assessment. It is used to study and monitor the environmental sustainability performance of products and services. Because of the high environmental impact of UHPC, partial replacement of cement with industrial byproducts is commonly used like fly ash from coal-fired power plant and ground granulated blast furnace slug from steel production. Three mixture designs were evaluated in this study. First is the UHPC with pure cement, UHPC with ground granulated blast furnace slug, and UHPC with fly ash. Based on the promising mechanical properties given on the available data from previous studies, the developed UHPC mixtures using supplemental cementitious materials were evaluated in terms of environmental impact indicators through SEMA Pro. As a preliminary result of the comparison of UHPC with blast furnace slag, UHPC with fly ash, and UHPC with Portland cement table shows that UHPC with fly ash gives the highest greenhouse gas emissions.